clearly in the CLL field right now, Venetoclax is one of the most impressive agents we've seen and its single agent activity led to its approval in a quite narrow field. Uh, but what we're seeing at this meeting is increasing work on Venetoclax in combinations. Um, there's two big kind of um, sessions here in which we're paying particular attention, uh, both for in slightly different ways but for the same reason. Probably the, the most important session that's here for the whole CLL field is the Murano trial, which is a randomised trial of bendamustine rituximab versus venetoclax plus rituximab and that's being presented at the late breaking abstract session. Probably no great surprise from what we would expect in terms of a very positive trial, in terms of showing an improvement of venetoclax rituximab over the, the BR arm, which would mean to us that here we're seeing again that uh, novel agents are wholeheartedly beating conventional chemotherapy in terms of the way the field is going forward. What's really impressive about that trial is that it's unlike previous studies which have used indefinite therapies, this one is looking at a two-year fixed duration of therapy. Now clearly we're going to need further follow-up to be able to determine how long those patients will remain in remission. But the progression-free survival advantage that we see with the combination, as well as the ability to get patients off drug and achieve minimal residual disease eradication, means that potentially we're on the cusp of being able to use these novel agents in a way to really improve the outcome for our patients. The other antibody that it's being used with in this um, study is, uh, is abinutuzumab or Gaziva and um, the Venetoclax plus um, abinutuzumab frontline study is being presented here by Ian Flynn, demonstrating again very high response rates, MRD negativity in that setting. So the concept that you can use Venetoclax with an antibody and achieve very deep remissions is what's really, really exciting. And then Pete Hillman is also showing uh, venetoclax in combination with ibrutinib. So there we're talking about novel, novel combinations of these types of agents together. And again, the concept here is about getting patients into minimal residual disease and stopping the drug. So we're, we're kind of moving now towards a concept of rather than indefinite therapy, using our best agents in combination to get patients off therapy. Now, a little bit kind of old-fashioned perhaps is there's also a, a number of posters here uh, or presentations looking at giving ibrutinib or venetoclax potentially with chemotherapy and asking the question whether or not these novel agents can really add to chemotherapy. Again, looking very impressive in terms of results. Different ways of doing it, one sequential, the German study group have using some chemotherapy to debulk the patient, then using the ibrutinib venetoclax combinations. Others like Matt Davis and, um, uh, and the group from MD Anderson looking at adding um, ibrutinib to FCR or even FCG. It's all about finding what's the right combination to get the patients into the deepest remission, have a fixed duration of therapy and hopefully leading towards cure.